Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you a weekly love tarot read. This is for entertainment purposes only, so with that, just take what you need and leave the rest. And if you require a personal and private reading, guys, feel free to reach out. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me, of course, will be in the show more section below. These six cards, guys, will form the main part of your read. Stick around to the very end. We're going to draw an animal spirit card to draw extra messages surrounding the person in question here today. And to kick off your read, we're going to use, or we're going to draw an, a Romance Angels Oracle card, okay? Just to get some insight into what the overall situation is about in the upcoming days and week. Leo, Leo, Leo. All righty. So the signs of the person that you could be dealing with here, with the death card in reverse, could be dealing with the Scorpio, and with the page of wands in reverse, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's see what is coming through regarding Leo and their person in the upcoming days and weeks. Spirit angels and guides, what have you got for our Leos? Here we go, one card's coming through. Mm -hmm. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So here's the thing, Leo. Okay, I'm hearing here that uh, maybe you were throwing yourself at someone here. Okay, maybe you were throwing yourself at someone because you really wanted to receive the adoration and the attention from this person. But as a result of throwing yourself at someone here, um, it's made you look maybe a little bit desperate and maybe this person took you for granted maybe this person um yeah abused you because you were just like easily accessible okay um so i feel like in the upcoming week that this is about self-respect this is about you don't need to go above and beyond for this person's love or this person's attention. Leo, you should just be you. That's it. That's all you got to do is just be yourself in every moment. Okay. Um, loving yourself first could be that you're needing to reset some boundaries. Okay, maybe the line's got a little bit blurred here and you need to take a little step back and go, right, I need to set some boundaries uh, when it comes to love, when it comes to connection, when it comes to this person. Because, you know, if it's, do you want to get walked all over? Okay, you don't want to get walked all over. You don't want to be taken for granted. So some boundaries are needing to be set here. And you're going to do so in a loving way, I feel. Now, I do feel with the death card that you could possibly be dealing, like I said, with a strong Scorpio. Um, but there could be a possible uh, ex coming back around. This could be to do with someone from the past. Okay, because when the death is in reverse, this is someone, you know, um, this is someone from the past I'm getting here, an ex, someone that you already know. I feel like you already know this person. Maybe this person, you know, with the six of, uh, sorry, the five of pentacles here, Maybe this person hasn't been giving you the attention that you need because the Five of Pentacles speaks to lack. And I feel like maybe you've gotten yourself to this point where you're coming across as a little bit needy, maybe a little bit desperate. Or 
vice versa, like flip the story, guys. Um, but I'm sensing here that this person's walked away from you or shut you out. And maybe you're struggling to really let this person go. And that's where you're like, you're chasing this person. You could be chasing this person. But as a result of chasing this person and wanting their attention, like, look at me, look at me, talk to me. Why, why are you shutting me out? Why are you ignoring me? Like it's making you look wounded and needy. I'm seeing two wounded people in these cards. Okay. Now, a situation has unfolded in the past and it's kind of left a bad taste in this person's mouth. Maybe you did something and they don't really like it or vice versa. But a situation has happened already because the Six of Cups is in the reverse. So I'm getting here. It's a first card here. So something happened in the past that is unpleasant. This is an unpleasant situation. And as a result, um, someone has put their walls of defense up, okay? Now, there's this distance between you and this person. And this distance is playing on your ego. Okay? Okay? It's playing on your ego. I see you looking back. And you can't let this go. Whatever happened, you, you, you're you not ready to let it go because the death in reverse is telling me Leo's not ready to let this situation go. Leo's not ready to let this person go. Um, this is an unresolved issue. Okay. Uh, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And maybe you're feeling a little bit challenged by this, uh, this change that needs to take place. Maybe you're being a little bit stubborn about this, Leo. You know that this situation has to change. You know that this cannot continue the way it has been. But maybe a little bit stubborn to lean into maybe possibly looking at yourself and going, okay, where do I need to change? Okay. It's about taking self-responsibility. I'm seeing that here. And even the Page of Wands, I mean, this is your energy as well, Leo. Page of Wands in the reverse. I see you focused on the past. I see you looking at the past. I see you looking at this person. Okay, something displeases you here. You may even be throwing a little tantrum or a little wobbly here because you're not getting your way. Okay, but the Page of Wands, when he's in reverse, he's not comfortable in that position. He's not moving forwards. He's still stuck on something that happened here. And it's, it's this. It's whatever's happening here in the Six of Cups in the reverse. You know, when the Six of Cups is in the upright, this is about two people getting, getting along. Uh, they're friends. Okay, this could be your friend. Then you could have had a falling out with a good mate here. Um... Friends, I'm hearing friends, uh, maybe this person just wanted friendship and you wanted something more. Maybe this was a friends with benefits situation and you're like, screw that. I'm not hanging around for a friends with benefits situation. I want more than that. Okay, but as it currently stands, you've, you've had a falling out with this person. Okay. Um... And you're still focused on it. You know, the Page of Wands, he's not thinking of the future. He's thinking of the past when he's in the reverse. Something just doesn't sit right here with you. But when the Wands is in reverse, it's, it's a going within energy. Okay, Leo. So it's time to go within and maybe take responsibility and accountability. Especially if you're chasing this other person who's turned their back on you. 
okay? Um, you don't want to be in that situation. It doesn't feel nice to chase someone. And the illusions, you're, you know, seven of cups in reverse. The dust is settling here. You're beginning to see very clearly here what it is that you need to see when it comes to this person. And when it comes to yourself, I feel like if this person has their wall up, I do feel like whatever's taking place within this connection, I feel like the dust is settling here. Because we've got six of cups and seven of cups. So whatever happened here in the six of cups, I feel like with the seven of cups, um, the emotions surrounding this scenario isn't as isn't clouding your judgment anymore. It's not clouding your, you know, your emotions are a little bit more like um you're a little bit more emotionally detached from this now, like uh, your emotions aren't so heightened surrounding this situation. And you're, you definitely don't want to be someone's option here. Okay. So let's take a closer look at the person's energy that you're dealing with in the upcoming week. So how are they showing through, Spirit Angels and Guides? Oh, okay. Let's have a look. They're coming through as the Otter Spirit. The downward pointing triangle does speak to water. So you could be dealing with a strong water sign, predominantly a Scorpio. Okay, Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. But... I feel like you're thinking very much about this person, okay? You might be you might be watching them. I, I still feel that. Okay. I feel that here. Okay, because you're looking to the past and this is like it looks like a binoculars to me. So I feel like this is you looking at this person. You're still very much focused on this person, thinking about this person. Um getting here with the otter I feel like yeah the otter is you know he's upright okay he's very observant as well um, but I feel like he's had to walk away because he's look he's he's looking to the future here He's had to walk away because he wasn't getting what he needed from this connection as well. Um, but for the most part, the otter speaks to friendly energy. I feel like this is um, a friendly kind of person. Um, they are caring. Uh, they're a family-oriented person as well because the otter, they congregate in clusters, in groups. Okay, so this person may have a family, um, but they are friendly. But you've had a falling out in this friendship. Okay. Um, and if it's, it's watery energy, so this person has had to look after themselves as well I feel like you're sort of both mirroring each other with the otter here this person does want what's best for you Leo okay maybe they've had to walk away so you do make those necessary changes that you've been resisting here with the death card because ultimately i feel like this person does want what's best for you i do see that here they've had to walk away for themselves at the time 
but they do want what's best for you. Now, this person is looking to the future. So I do see this person possibly coming back around. Okay, the dust is settling here. Okay, this person may be more emotionally balanced in the upcoming as upcoming week as well. So but I feel um your your you know this dust settling and you're looking at this otter. I feel like you're starting to see this person through a fresh lens. And as you work on yourself, as you build yourself up, you're going to see this person in a different light. You're going to see something that you didn't see in the past regarding this person. And I actually feel it's positive, okay? Don't see it being negative in either case because you know Leo you're very optimistic so you like to see the glass half full over a glass half empty and you don't hold on to grudges Leos don't hold on to grudges so I do see you overcoming something here but for the most part this person had to pull away okay they had to do what's best for them so you can make those necessary changes and work on yourself so there we have it, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this read. This is what I've got for you uh, this week. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.